Hi, in today's episode we are going to make a nerd level YouTube button. I'm currently reaching that many subscribers. Okay, it's binary. That will be 65,536 subscribers in decimal. If you are not a nerd like me, believe me that's a significant number. 65,535 can still be stored in 16 bits. 65,536 however overflows in the next higher bit. That usually will be stored in 32 bits. That's a whole new architecture. So two extra bytes are needed to store my subscriber counter now. Take this Google! Okay, you might think I'm doing this only because in 6 years I didn't manage to get 100k subscribers to get an actual YouTube button. But it's a nice project anyways. I want to make it from the 64x64 64 64 RGB LED matrix I have here around for 2 years already. It can be driven by any microcontroller, but I will use this ESP8266 based Wemos D1 Mini with an additional shield by fellow YouTuber Brian Luck. I bought it from his Tindy store. He made many cool videos on these matrices. So let's get started. When I was finished soldering I realized I managed to solder the connectors to the wrong places. I should have looked in the manual at least once before soldering it. Okay, that's my fault, so I have to rework it now. At least I was able to salvage the connectors. But wait, there is more potential to screw it up. I thought I could put the Duon Mini this way around. But then I realized the pins would be flipped and that's not good. So I had to rework it with the female connectors on the board. That's an example how to not solder kits from Tindy. Now that that was finished I designed a simple cover for the back of the panel. After four and a half hours of lowest quality printing, it was time to test it. Brian designed the matrix shield based on a bigger matrix. On my type the LEDs are more dense, but also the connectors are closer together and it doesn't fit. I bought a simple extension cord on eBay to put the shield somewhere else where it's not in the way of the power cable. On the 64x64 matrix all dips have to be on. So we need the C, D and E line. The matrix is powered by 5 volts. You can either use the barrel jack connector or these terminals here. The LED panel has this 2.5mm threads. I will use these to mount the cover. Simple 2.5mm screws from one of these standoff kits fit nicely. On the other end of the power line I will use 4mm connectors. To provide enough current I will use this old uh, PC power supply that I modified to be a bench power supply. It's really dodgy but it does the job and it's laying here around without any purpose. Now it's time to hack the code. Done. Let's close it up and test it. I used Brian's subscriber counter sketch as a base for Arduino. It connects to my Wi-Fi and gets the current subscriber count for my channel. So my nerd level YouTube button will be always up to date. It's getting close. Oops, my fault.
It's getting close. The printed cover on the back is quite convenient. It stands by itself, you can put it anywhere. The actual code has some animated zeros and ones in the background for the maximum nerdiness. But that doesn't show very well on camera, so I removed it. But I also like it without the animation. I really love the look of the LED matrix. It's a real eye catcher and really bright. I totally have to make more projects with it. You can find all the links to the parts that I've used here in the description below. If you liked it, subscribe to my channel and consider supporting me on Patreon, channel memberships, PayPal or buying my stuff on Tindy. See you next time. Bye.